What's going on, people? It's your man, the YB, back once again. So, Connor Hen has aired out Ryan Garcia and wants to smoke. Here we go, let's get to it then, 100%. Not really. I would smash his teeth down his neck. That's what I would do. So, you know, he wants to talk all this talk and I ain't about it on Twitter. I was, congr I was congratulating you. Do you know what I mean? But then you want to send that back. All right, no problem. You want to send threats to me? Come, let's handle it then. No problem. Everyone wants to talk on Twitter, but when it comes down to business, nobody actually really wants it. Proven. It's not, it's not, I'm not just saying that. It's proven. You know, so if he wants it, he can get it. You know, I don't even think fracture your spleen is a thing. And he wants to eat it. I mean, no diddy. Do you know what I mean? Like, what's all that about? You know, he's just, he's just a weird kid, isn't he? Connor, let's talk. So that was Connor Ben's comments. Essentially, Connor Ben's right. Connor Ben was half I ain't gonna lie. Connor Ben was half blowing Ryan Garcia. He said, "Great performance from Garcia." I called it. Credit to Devin Haney for climbing off the floor, for peeling himself off the floor three times. I will fight any of these guys. And then Ryan said, "Let's run it." In London at the O2, I will fracture your spleen and then eat it. Shout out London. Ryan goes, I mean, Connor Hen says, don't be another loud mouth like Jovumpa Lumpa. I ain't gonna lie. Jovanta does look like Oompa Loompa Loompa. He's got that kind of stature to him. That's just a fact. If you 100%. If you are really about it, let's do it next. I will smash your teeth down your neck, you W A N K E R. Ryan Garcia said, you know I'm about business, but you can't even fight in your own country. Dr. Al-Shabaab has something to say about that, allegedly. We can fight anywhere you want and we can meet in the centre of the ring and have it. Power la raza. I assume that means toe-to-toe -to -toe or something. Let's do it next, no excuses. So, I mean, Ryan Garcia, the world is his oyster right now. And really, what's Conor... I mean, Conor Ben's got UK clout, but really, that's all he's got. Yeah, he's got the zone back in with Eddie Hearn. Could Eddie Hearn put on a big show in MSG? Or oh, at the MSG, probably, but... I mean, Simon Jordan did a video today and said... Ben versus Garcia might sell out Wembley. I can see it, because Ryan's got that, that kind of clout. He got that clout, and you best believe there'll be 60,000 women for the first time at a boxing match, 100%. They'll be, you best believe it's so all ages. From from eight, from not 80, maybe, from 60, from them thirsty cougars, 60 odd, right down to 12 year old girls. All of them ones will be showing up to watch um, Ryan Garcia 100%. There's haters out there, oh, that's not 100%. Packed, packed full of women, that will be. That's just what it is. There's no doubt about it. Stop lying to yourself. Yeah, Ryan Garcia already told Devin, sorry. Ryan Garcia already told Diddy Vin Haney, yeah? Hey, Diddy Vin Haney, you know your girl was in my bed. That's just what it is. He ain't telling no fibs. What did, listen, did Diddy Vin Haney reply to them bars? No, he did not. He know that. It's one of them, yeah? His girl got got by the Garcia. So, anyway, I've digressed. Could it sell 80,000? <laughs> I don't know, it wouldn't be... Well, Ryan's not a UK guy. But Connor ain't exactly popping. If Connor had a beat Eubank or something, then you could say, but what's, what's Connor done? Connor's beat a few bumps. A few circuit bumps. Do you know what I'm saying? He hasn't even had... Name me Connor Ben's breakout fight. He ain't had one. So I don't agree with it selling out Wembley, to be honest. I can see it, of course, selling out the MSG or selling out the O2. But to do Wembley, obviously, I guess you could charge a tenner for tickets, right? But assuming the tickets are priced similar to AJ and Klitschko, I just don't think there's... Who knows, though? I mean, should the fight happen? Like I said, it'll be an interesting fight. I think Conor Ben gets the breaks. Beat off him, though. Because Conor Ben going to become running forward. Conor Ben's not got the best chin. That's a fact. He has not got the best chin. Especially not on the gear. Yeah, some random dude. Some random slow, washed-up dude. Pain out. Put him on his backside. Ryan's actually quick. I mean, before the Devin Haney fight, sorry, before the Diddy Vin Haney fight, I thought Devin Haney was quick. Devin Haney's quick, right? Ryan Garcia's another level on that. Conor Ben will come bum-rushing forward 
And that left hook gonna find gonna land for sure. And he gonna his chin gonna go get clop and he's gonna be on his backside. That's what I believe happened. Cause I've seen I've seen Connor Ben in there making a meal of things against random dudes. He would have never felt the speed or power of Ryan Garcia, especially at 147. I believe Ryan Garcia would probably drain it down to 145 so that he's got a bit of an advantage. Um I don't see Connor Ben getting a look in edgeways in that fight. But it'd be an interesting fight if Ryan Garcia wants it. But in reality, I think Ryan Garcia is just... Conor Ben needs to do something first, yeah? Conor Ben, get a belt. Make it interesting for Ryan Garcia. Because all Ryan Garcia would be doing right now is putting Conor Ben on, if that makes sense. At least Ryan Garcia's fought Tank. Beat Devin Haney. Sorry, beat Diddy Vin Haney. What's Conor Ben done? Popped for the Moody Eggs. That's what he's known for. Call me a liar. Ryan Garcia is known now... For beating Did even Haney. What's Ryan Garcia known? I mean, what's Connor Ben known for? Let's be oh, stop. Let's be honest here, people. What is Connor Ben known for? Oops, he known for the Moody Eggs, the Moody Essex Eggs. Yeah, the bodybuilding eggs. That's what he's known for. He's not known for a big fight. Which one? Oops, none. We don't know him. We don't know any of his fights. In that sense. Fact. So, Conor Ben need to beat, for example. We know, like, I did a video a few days ago. Eddie Hearn was beefing with Ryan Garcia's dad. And Ryan Garcia's dad, or Eddie Hearn said to Ryan, to Ryan Garcia's dad, Hey, listen, you beat Devin, but I've got boots for you. Jerron Boots Ennis. So that tells me I didn't know this because I ain't watched Ennis even once. Because he, he boring to me, ain't gonna lie. That means Ennis is with Eddie Hearn. Ennis is at 147. Connor Hens at 147. Why ain't Eddie Hearn put them two together? Let Connor Ben beat Ennis. Then all of a sudden he got a belt and he relevant. And then it makes sense for Ryan Garcia. Hey, let me beat the man who beat Ennis. But Connor Ben ain't really calling for that for some reason. Which is like almost like he wants the clout and not the hard work. Because Ennis... I ain't watched him, but I assume he's hard at work. He's hard at work, right? It's not going to be an easy night against Ennis for Conor Ben. So instead, he's looking for the Eubank fight, which is a clout fight. The Ennis fight for Conor Ben is a hard industry fight. The Eubank fight may be hard, but it's not an industry fight. It's a big fight. Yeah, the Ryan Garcia fight might be hard, but it's a big fight. Jaron Ennis is a small, hard fight. He don't want that, which is what you need. Because Ryan Garcia, he had his big, he had his big fights. He's fought Tank Davis. He's fought Diddy Vinhaney. Ryan got, I mean, Conor Ben ain't got none of them names on his resume. So he need one. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, people. Smash the like button, subscribe. And let off the bell 100%. No doubt about it, people. Stop.